Chicken wing in the sky, craving a pizza pie. Take a look, we're too lazy to cook, eating rainbow. We can eat anything. Take a look, we're diverse as fuck, eating rainbow. We're too lazy to cook, eating rainbow. Eating rainbow. Eating rainbow. Eating rainbow. Hey guys, how's it going? Eating rainbow here. This is our uh, very first mukbang, but I assure you, won't feel like the first time. We love food, don't we, guys? <laughs> We've been eating all our lives, so I think we'll yeah, be okay. I think we'll yeah, be okay. Yeah. Um, I'm Brandon. We got Devin here, we got Jimmy, and we got Gabriel. Yeah, we got Mama Luz. We got Mama Luz Shout here. Shout out to Mama Luz. They're uh, kind of a, a staple in the 626 here, right? They got, they're famous for their dumplings and all that, so we got a couple of those here. We also got our tasty beverages. We got the seven leaves here. So we got a Red Bull on the side. Going for kind of the theme, um, Asian beverages, Asian food. Asian people. Asian people. <laughs> Asian people. Asian yeah. people. Yeah. Oh, Asian girl. <laughs> Um, let's go. Here we got the beef roll, the beef wrap. Beef right? wrap. Just get, put some Jimmy's respect on that name. Yeah. Some Jimmy's favorite dish right here. Got the beef chow fun, of course. Sounds fun. We got yeah, the uh, salt and pepper ribs. The <sighs> pork chop, pork chop rib things. Fantastic. Deep fried. Can't it's, go wrong they're there. They're just sex in your mouth. Mm. Um, <laughs> pan fried dumplings. They got the, you know, the juicy pork dumplings, you know, the Salon bow kind of thing. Bite off that nipple. And we got the uh, string bean chicken. We're a little hungry. We're a little hungry. Yeah, we've uh, we've been waiting a long time to eat it, so we're gonna dig in right now. Dun, 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 Let's do this. On the topic of like Chinese people, mm -hmm. Chinese food, Chinese Asian peoples. Okay. We talked about this before. We had a conversation between the three of us. Who was the most whitewashed out of the three? I think it's better now that we have and now that we have an impartial judge, Asian. yeah, that can kind of determine that for us. Yeah. We can kind of go through our, you she know, our this. attributes, and you can kind of decide who's the most white one. Who is the I most? I think I white already white. have an idea. No, no, okay, you have to be unbiased though. <laughs> and then I'm, I am unbiased. Start from an and unbiased. And with that, with that, we have to decide like, is that good or not? Being super whitewashed, or is that bad? Yeah. Is it good or bad, you know? Do you want to be more whitewashed? Yeah, yeah that's right. Yeah. Uh, as far as voice goes, we can kind of go by, you know... Hi, step, I'm Jimmy. Step by step. Who, is, who sounds the most whitewashed? Yeah. That's all say. Let's all say, let's, let's let's all all say, say the same sentence. Yeah, let's say, do okay. I sound whitewashed? Okay. Uh, Gabe, you go first. Okay. Uh, do I sound whitewashed? Do I sound the whitewashed? <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Do um, I sound whitewashed? And do I sound whitewashed? You all sound. <laughs> <laughs> who's the whitest? Out of literally the, all of the voices. Something. Out of the voices, who's the whitest? It's hard to tell. I mean, mm. Jimmy's is probably the highest. Okay. Gabe's is the deepest. Mm. The deepest in whitewashed. This. Well, he's just she's just talking about just the tone of it. But Gabe know. also has like the least amount of like not accent, but like uh, mm. voice influx. Wow, fascinating. Uh, you know? Are you talking about like uh, monotone? Yeah. 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 Okay. It's more like a straighter, yeah. deeper. But is that white? That's a, it's hard to judge. They're all yeah, different. Can uh, I pick one? What's the whitest voice? I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go with Gabe. Oh, oh. Mm, that's that's it. It. Right. voice. Okay. What's the next white? Here you go. Alright. Huh? Oh! Or something. How about interest? Interest goes. Well, that's the most white interest. Well, the whitest thing about Brandon to me is how into metal he is. Like, I don't. Yeah, right? Okay. Yeah, there you go. Yeah. Sports, metal. Sports, metal. Sports is a Chinese person thing, too. I feel like I've never met. It's more like basketball. Yeah, I've only met Chinese people who are into 
like basketball. Yeah, yeah. I like, that's what but, I like. Yeah. Do you like watch football and other sports? Baseball? No. Question mark, do you like this? When you're white passing when it comes to Asian Americans, Asian Americans anyway, Beards help. I would say, like, mm. if you have a beard, yeah, it's a little you white. Know, it's it's a little white. Yeah. Uh, he has a little beard. He can kind of. He never grows it beard. out, though. Yeah, but he can grow, like, a thin beard. Yeah, but my mustache game is on point. Yeah, he has a better mustache. <laughs> All I can grow is, like, a very weak Fu Manchu, and I think that makes me more Asian. Just. You have a great dumb. mustache. Yeah. Mmm. Mm. God, you're right. These things are delicious. These, yeah, I haven't had them Um. So as far as interests, you think I'm the most white? Well, does anybody? As far as well, well, what about music? Anyone like K-pop? Well, Gabe? I don't know what music Gabe listens to. Yeah. Yeah. What kind of music? Um. Mostly it's just Spotify playlists. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Yeah>. pretty white. <laughs> you know, I can't tell white. Jimmy loves like also oh, white like? people music. No, I don't. What are you I talking mean, about? You know, I'm not wearing Hello like, Goodbye like, on my shirt right I like now. The same music that you like. Yeah, okay. I also like some like Metallica and stuff like that. Yeah. But you listen to like plain white keys and like. <laughs> I do. Okay, no, no, no. Hold on, hold on. Pies. Hollow notes. I do not listen to plain white keys. Hollow notes. Okay, hollow notes. There's a big fucking. I might. Yeah. <laughs> Brandon, and you might be B. Jimmy might be. No, I love hollow notes. He loves. We both love hollow notes. So like, yeah, yeah. I, like I just want to make clear, I don't listen to plain white teeth. That's like something you pull out of brass. By not by far, by little, I'm kind of the more white when it comes to interesting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. Um, what about maybe? Um, well, because like not all of us actually speak the language of our culture, right? I think. Yeah. You, mm -hmm. Yeah. Jimmy, you do? Yeah, I understand a little bit. I do understand a little bit of Korean. I speak a little bit of it. Do you guys speak any of your language? No. I understand I, Cantonese completely. Okay. I, I have a hard time speaking it. Yeah, that's that's like pretty common amongst like Asian Americans. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Yeah, but like in that, I I haven't heard Gabe like ever talk about what? being Filipino. You don't really speak it. No. Yeah. No. But do you, mm -hmm. do you feel like? You have a way to connect to your, I don't know, heritage in like America like this, or do you just kind of feel disconnected? Yeah, I feel disconnected right yeah. now. Yeah, I'm just like. There's not uh, a lot of like Filipino outlets, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Hmm. Okay. Any, in like my case, I can just go to Koreatown anytime I want, and like fucking white people are everywhere, and, like eating Korean barbecue, so it's like, it's a thing. Mm. Yeah. So I think that's, the, that's what the category is. Who's yeah. most in touch with their. You know, mm. Their origins and their okay. culture. Like my okay, here's the thing. I don't consider K-pop, K-pop. No. I don't consider that to be like a super Asian thing because like the only reason I ever listen to K-pop is my white girlfriend listens to it. So that's like, that's a huge demographic like, yeah. of K-pop. Yeah, community, yeah, which yeah. Is yeah. White people. Yeah, mm -hmm. I would say like that's pretty much yeah. out there. Yeah. Yeah. All that BTS stuff. Yeah. 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 BTS. Mm -hmm. FPS. What? BLT. BLT. What? <laughs> ACT. SAT. Wait, are these ACT. actually acronyms? Yes. Or? Yeah. Yes. So everything he said. Yes. FPS. Yeah. What yes. Is that? No. Does that even stand for that? Them. It's a fucking Korean band. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh. The, no. the TNT 920. I do remember way back in the day, this is a D cup, G-O-D was one. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But suck that juice out. Mm. <laughs> as far as in tune with their own culture, who do you think is the most? Me. Yeah, it's not even you. Really? Ding, 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 ding. You're just always talking about your family. Yeah. And then yeah. family togetherness is like Pretty a big awesome. thing in like Asian culture. Okay. And you're always like saying like random Asian phrases and like and Cantonese that, or Mandarin. The uh, Cantonese. <laughs> yeah, the Cantonese. That's boy. true. Like when you think of like all the people that you work with, like <laughs> I, nobody ever speaks in their like language of choice. Ex 
Except for, I would say, some of the Latino people that we Which work with. Which is most of them. <laughs> <laughs> like nine but even, even then, it's just some of them, yeah. and then it's you. I've never spoken in Korean with really, you guys yeah, ever I've in my never, life. No, I've made, no. Maybe you heard you say mom in Korean once. <laughs> <laughs> like on the phone mm-hmm. or something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that makes sense. I'm the most tiny Asian boy. <laughs> I think Gabe is pretty such a small one. point. I, I think Gabe is one of the most wild. I think Gabe is probably. Like, what what the, yeah, I'd like to know this. Like, what, what makes well, him so quite we, much? Well, I think that's a big thing. The being out of tune with your original culture. That's so, true. Yeah. No, yeah, no, that's that, not that true. That is the biggest point. Or maybe, I don't know. I wouldn't consider myself whitewashed. Mm-hmm. But I, I still am like, not super in touch with my... like. Culture. Huh? Because, like, so many black people don't know it. This is like a little offensive towards white people, I think, because like <laughs> the the thesis that we're like I don't want to be white. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> the idea, the whole thesis of this uh, whole thing is like whiteness is a lack of culture, and I think that's what we're presenting <laughs> yeah. here. But, like <laughs> American whiteness is kind of, they kind of do lack culture. <laughs> okay. But I mean, it's the same thing yeah. for like American black people. Okay. African American. Yeah, but I mean, like, no, all the all like, the millennials and hipsters are trying to be more cultural. Yeah. Oh, that's definitely yeah, yeah. well rounded. I think I think in this day and age, everyone's trying to be more global. Yeah. I think it's something to be committed. But, so what's everyone? What's December? What's everyone doing for the holidays? Yeah. yeah. We were talking about we were talking about gift giving. When uh-huh. we were coming over here. Yeah. Um. I was asking him if he's a good gift giver. Yeah, because someone asked him. Someone someone told him yeah. that he, they were going to get a gift for him. Mm-hmm. But the only reason you would tell someone that you're going to get a gift for them is because you're looking for a return. Yeah, you want the gift. So the way it was I'm presented, I'm going to get a gift for you. So yeah, I'm getting so, a gift. so yeah. Yeah. the way it was presented to me sure was like, "Hey, just so you guys know, I got you guys a little something, but don't worry, don't worry. Like you don't need to get me anything. But like that's bullshit. Like that's that, that's like actual bullshit. Like I need to get you something. Wait, like, who was you know, this though? It's, it's, just, it it's just a new friend of mine. That they were like, yeah, it's 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 fine. You don't need to get us anything. But like I have to get you yeah. something. No, they said no. No, okay. absolutely but, not. That is not the Holy Spirit. Spirit. But no. you wouldn't point it out to the person if you didn't want anything. Though. You can just give it to them. Well, like the I feel, I feel like maybe they wanted to avoid Jimmy feeling obligated to give him something. Because if you just spring a gift on Mission somebody, Mission not accomplished. But because if you just spring a gift on someone, then it's like, oh, I didn't get you anything, and then you yeah. really start to feel bad. But if they get to tell you ahead of time and tell you that don't worry really, about getting a gift, then it's if like, they just really wanted you to have that thing, whatever mm-hmm. it was, yeah. they would just give it to you. Yeah. You wouldn't okay. have to worry about like. But they said don't happy. give him anything. In any case, I'm yeah. a bad gift giver. I don't know what to get anyone any like any time. Like, yeah, I think I think too much about it. Yeah. Uh, do you? What about you? Do you think about it? No. Usually, if it's like a like last year, um, like the person I got, he only asked for either money or like. Because you, you were doing a secret Santa. Yeah. It was a secret Santa thing. Mm-hmm. Um, if I were to give a gift. Just out of the blue, yeah. I just give money. Like I, like, like I had this conversation with you, like in the car. Like, isn't money not the best gift? Because it's not. First off, it's not tied to anything like a gift card. You know, mm-hmm. it's very personal. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Everyone yeah, but would you, accept money. I'm just saying. You want you know, the joy. Yeah, of, nobody would be disappointed. Yeah. Yeah. Money. You want the joy of opening the thing. Right. Just want to open it and see what they thought about of me. To you know, to warrant that gift. I just hate things cluttering up my like home, and I always feel so guilt-ridden and like opposed to throwing away all of these things that are like cluttering <laughs> up my desk. And I'm like, I, I hate this. I don't want to ever see it again. But my buddy got it for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. So, like I, I can't. Well, like, that's I, how you uh, make a box. Uh, and then you okay. just put all of them <laughs> there once you are tired of looking at them. Or you yeah. just re-gift. No, that's no! even fucking worse! Oh, that's throw it away. That is, yeah. Re-gifting is spitting in the face of the holidays. No, that's I, never, like, I, I, I remember that. when you yeah. asked about a holiday story that reminds okay. me. I made my mom this like ceramic mug full of like Hershey's Kisses chocolates. Oh, okay. And then we had to go to a family party later, like that Christmas yeah. party, after she'd opened her oh, gift. Oh no. And she just took it and gave it to one of her. <laughs> oh <laughs> my god! <laughs> oh, I was like, same day. I was like seven. Same. Like, <laughs> That's pretty. Shut 
shot. That's pretty scarring. That's right. something you hold on to for sure. Yeah, yeah. because yeah, because you learned that that pattern of like, I can just get this gift. I don't like it. So I'm just gonna I give spent, it out. I think yeah. you yeah. spent so, so, so much time on it too. Like, holy so shit! Excited. You know, that's like the first present I ever gave to my mom. Like, oh my god. <laughs> Dark, dark Christmas <laughs> dark, right? Yeah. I remember actually when I was a kid, I was I was a little shit, so I walk around my neighborhood and then like this this pissed my parents off so much. I would like tell them like, oh, we don't really celebrate Christmas, so like I'm not gonna get a present this year. I told this to every <laughs> person, and then like one Christmas, this little old lady would knock on our door yeah. and then present me with this like oh. I don't know little puzzle thing. It's like. I just wanted you to have a little Christmas present. Meanwhile, there actually are a bunch of like Christmas presents <laughs> in the living room, all for me. Wow. Why uh, did you tell me that? I, I don't know. <laughs> I, I just made stories up as a kid. I, I I'll never forget. Like some some person thought they were doing the biggest Christmas holiday. <laughs> <laughs> well, as far as Speed. worst gifts. Oh, okay. Worst right. gifts. Um, I don't know. This is like hounds, but. And one time, I was with my family, I was a kid, and we went to some other, like, distant family friend that I didn't really know. Okay. So we went to their house, and um, maybe they didn't realize I was coming, they didn't realize what was going on. Like, like nothing was planned. Mm -hmm. And so like, we got there, and I remember they gave me a, a gift, it was a box, and I shook it, and it was like, it sounded like, I was like, oh, I'm convinced this is Legos. It's like a, it's some kind of Lego set. Mm -hmm. I'm like, yes. And then later when I opened it, it was just a box of vanilla wafers. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, I don't know what just... these are. <laughs> what are these? Like, can I build these? They are Casey. You can. You can stack them on top of each other. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm, it's fine because they didn't know me. They just got me something. How about you just fucking use like... your imagination for once? <laughs> They were generous and giving no, me something. No. But like I was I was confused. I don't think I ate it. How's everyone on fullness? I'm, I'm pretty dang. I'm okay. getting pretty decked out, bro. We have so much. I'm surprised I even ate as much as I did considering I Considering you had a pizza before coming here. Yeah. Hey, hey real people. <laughs> hey, look, you you said you were gonna be here at around 1.30, right? Yeah. I didn't mean you had to eat a whole pizza. Well, <laughs> yeah, right. I just thought I had enough time in between eating the pizza and doing it all. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that little part. boy, have you guys seen that video? What? An avocado. Thanks. Oh, yeah! <laughs> Thank you so thankful for the avocado. Yeah? you never seen it? No. Awesome. I haven't seen it. Is it the same kid that said, I like turtles? No. Is it the same kid? I like turtles. No. I like turtles. I what that guy's yeah. up to. The same that's what I was you think saying. Yeah, that's, that's like I think he's the same ago. kid as the Ginger Has Souls kid. It's the same guy. Ginger you're has fucking soul. lying. I don't believe you. The turtle guy and the That turtle guy, guy was blonde! What are you yeah, talking yeah. about? Yeah. <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> it's a conspiracy though. <laughs> all he these, dyed his hair. All these yeah. viral kids are the same yeah. kid. Since we're getting close to the end of the year, was everyone's like top five movies mm. that you think would be a nominee or something like that? Mm. A nominee? Yeah. Or a, I don't, do we have to do that? Let's just well, say our favorites. Just say you know? favorite. yeah. Yeah. I love Creed too, but it's definitely go not going to win an Oscar. No. Oh, it might for like maybe the soundtrack or something. Mm. So, really? you think Creed 2 was that good? I loved it. Wow. I haven't even seen the first Creed, but I just really enjoyed it. I never saw the first one. But maybe that. that's why I enjoyed the second one, right. because I didn't see the first one. So, like, any inconsistencies, I didn't really oh. notice them. I love Michael B. Jordan, but I, I think there's, like, a lot of, like, people, like, who don't like his acting very much. He's not like, the best actor. Okay. He's okay. But good. he didn't, I feel like... I, the complaint I hear a lot is that he's playing the same character in every role he does. Yes. But I like that character. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I, yeah, this is not gonna, like, make it to any, I don't know, award ceremonies or anything like that. Maybe it will, but I saw the Green Book recently, and it, like, I had so much fun, because it's, it's, it's about serious stuff. It's about, like, race relations back in, like, the 1960s or whatever like that, but, like, at the same time, it was not so complex as to be, uh, 
I don't know, like unwatchable. No. Like it, it kept the characters like really, I don't know, close to each other and really made it about them and their experiences as opposed to like what the whole complex situation was yeah. outside of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Plus, it's just a nice Christmas movie. Yeah, I hear it's yeah. a very solid, yeah. clean cut movie. Yeah, yeah. It was a, yeah. It, it's the most a little extraordinary. shallow, but it didn't need right. to be like right. deep. Yeah. Right. Because, yeah. I mean, I would only go there for the acting anyways. Yeah. The, the, the oh, yeah, movie. they both killed it. Yeah, yeah totally. So. What about you guys? Any movies you saw this year? Well, it's been getting harder and harder for me to see movies because of movie pass. Yeah. <laughs> so, Rest in peace, movie yeah. pass. Yeah. <laughs> it's a moment of silence for movie yeah, pass, right? Yeah, moment of silence for movie pass. Okay. Right, okay. Anyway, pass. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, movie pass. Um, I am... See, the last movie I was even able to see with Movie Pass was like. It came out after Crazy Rich Asians. Uh, Didn't it blow up? Oh, with the like Searching? A, yeah, Searching. I saw Searching. Oh, how oh, was that? I keep hearing um, amazing things about yeah, it. Yeah. It has possibly the best. Uh, like computer screen cinematography, if that makes sense. Really? I I, you know, I, I don't know if I would ever be impressed by that. No, like yeah, you, wow. you wouldn't think that because um, like, the movie is roughly like ninety percent just looking at a computer screen. Yeah, right? yeah. But they were well, able to tell a story through it. What is impressive about it? Like the way the browsers are like done, or like it's more of the context because like you know, okay. looking at a computer screen, a lot of the interfacing is through like messenger. Yeah, sure. The character, you know, the character yeah. is making a uh, like a Excel document to keep track of all of the notes of his oh, missing daughter. Oh, fascinating. Right? Okay. He, he also uh, does uh, video calls with the detective who's working on the yeah. case. There's a big twist at the end. Fascinating. Um, okay. Does it ever feel like there's like a let's say a video conference there just so that like I don't know like. You can see the actors' faces or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay, no, okay. it's it's definitely they're taking some liberties okay. with, with how video calls actual people. Just, yeah. And you saw it too. Okay. Yeah. What about see. you, bud? I haven't seen it. No, I mean like oh. you got a movie. <laughs> you got a movie for this year. Yeah. Mm, okay. It's hard for me because last year I saw a lot of movies because of Movie Pass. Yeah. This year I didn't see as many. A Quiet Place is a very well done movie. Yeah, was that this fun. year? Yeah. This year has felt so long, yeah. man. Yeah. Like, dang. That's a great solid movie. Yeah. Hereditary. Ooh, Ooh, that I mean, was uh, I haven't seen that it. was a roller coaster. Okay, spoilers. Never mind. Bye. <laughs> oh, but I have it. I bought it. I mean, Why you haven't watched Black it? Friday. Yeah, he it's has fantastic. Bought, yeah, Black Friday. Black Friday. Like, Black Friday. I think he also movie. bought uh, Blind Spotting. It's on the counter. Oh yeah. Blind Spotting too. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh yeah. Little town. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. In Blind Spotting, um, a teacher from our community college is in the movie. Oh, yeah. yeah. She plays the mom. And my, my uh, grandpa makes a cameo in the movie. What? Really? Yeah. Really? Wait, did you tell me this? Yeah, I told you this. Damn it, I don't Grandpa remember. Wong. No, because he's dead. <laughs> and he, 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 oh. He, oh. Oh, right. Yeah, that's... Oh. It was that he was through stupid. the cemetery yeah. that my grandpa's buried at. Gotcha. I didn't right. really yeah. recognize it. And I saw the ghost of my grandpa. He was just like... <laughs> It's like, what is that? Yeah, that's... Yeah, what is that thing? That's Brandon's grandpa. Your grandpa's my grandpa, right? <laughs> okay, so what did you guys think about Venom? Did any of you guys see Venom? Yeah. Yeah. I, I like it's it. It's not as bad as, as everyone said. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's just like a basic superhero yeah. It felt like yeah. a 90s movie, right? Like a decent 90s movie? Yeah, like, I yeah. mean, it's I like, wasn't okay, going into well, it expecting... Well, I ate popcorn during this. Honestly, like, my favorite parts weren't even, like, the part, the super blurry, like, fights or anything like that, when, like, what's his face? Who's the guy who played it? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, when he, like, took that giant fucking bite out of that steak in that, like, what's it, restaurant? That was the best part for me, like, when he's just acting like a Jim Carrey character. Yeah, I feel I like I, I, I did see a better version of Venom this year, though. Which was? Um... What's it called again? Memorable. That's, yeah. 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 <laughs> What's yeah. the name of the Spider Verse? I just had it in my mind. I was like, I'll, I'll say that. Wait, hold Animal on. World. <laughs> no, uh. <laughs> you want to describe it? Yeah, this, this is great no, video. Yeah, it's no the other version yeah. of Venom. The plot. It's, it's not Venom, but yeah. it gave us the plot of the yeah, story. Give us the plot. It's the one that. Oh, the... like, it's like the joke that Venom is like a love story between, like. No, no, Deadpool? Okay. Sorry to bother you. It was more of an indie flick. 
Right, you have to you. describe it, man. You're Annihilation. Let us Ooh. help you. Help us help you. Uh, He's trying to think of crazy rich Asians. It's, it's his favorite movie. Predator. Right? Yeah. I love the Predator. I know Hot a lot Hot of people hate it. Oh, Ocean's Eight. Ocean's Eight. Oh, the Nun. I was gonna get so mad. Saw the Nun. It's an action movie, right? It's an action movie. Is it an action movie? Someone just people just quiet. We have to think of. Please he looks describe like the fucking he movie. Looks like, he looks describe like the fucking sure, movie. Sure. Give us the byline right. at least. So it, the actor looks like Tom Hardy. I thought it was him, but it wasn't. Oh, it's, yeah. So wait, he, I, I think I know what he's talking about. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. So he gets in a terrible car accident, and they try to enhance him. You know, there's this new development of you know body enhancement, and so they put machine into him. He's like, Have Robocop? No. Overlord. Overlord. Oh. What? What? Fucking upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. dude. Yeah. Uh, upgrade upgrade was, was one of my top. I just told yeah. you that yeah. the, the synopsis. And you yeah. still didn't think of it just then? Yeah. No, I, I was like, I don't know what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So upgrade, upgrade was a fantastic. A I believe it was Blumhouse uh, Productions that made it. And okay. it's like, yeah. it's it's basically what a... Uh, yeah, it's, I remember wanting to see So that is kind of like a... I, I yeah, like I can see that. Yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, yeah, I'm right there with you. Like off-brand Tom Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Who, a, a better uh, and more well-understood Tom Hardy. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually understand what A little blander, a little more But that's understood. what people love yeah. about Tom Hardy. I don't like that. that like yeah. her. I don't like that. I think I could understand him better. Could you understand him in the red one? No. No, <laughs> not at all. In what? In The Revenant. I but I remember him in The Revenant. You don't remember him in The Revenant? No, he was, he did play. He was, he was the bad the, guy. He was the I bad guy. Know. All I can remember is Leonardo DiCaprio. You're crazy. That dreamy guy. I love Leonardo DiCaprio. He's the best part of like The Revenant. He, yeah, he's like, I'm oh, oh, I don't have a life. I'm but, just trying to live. But do you like, it. but do you like... Young yeah, Leo young. or old? Leo now is kind of like a greasy. I feel like man. a lot of people feel <laughs> that like way. He's like a grind yeah. I feel like a lot of people feel that way where he like got more a seasoned face and he looks different. <laughs> he looks <laughs> the same. I mean, my old like roommate. Wider. I had this friend who was like really popular in like the New York club scene yeah. and he said that he would always see Leonardo DiCaprio in the clubs just yeah. like really sweaty with like oh. two <laughs> girls around yeah. him. Yeah. Like, and like a beer yeah. belly. <laughs> With a uh, dad bod. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, like, his older face is working for, like, in some movies, like, I don't know, like, Django, he was really good. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. He's a good looking guy, but yeah. I feel like he was dreamier yeah. when he was younger. Right? Oh, yeah. He did, when he had that baby age, face. Like, yeah. 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 yeah I don't, it's just because he, like, smokes cigarettes all day. Yeah. And, like, has um, a dad body. Fucking, yeah. Like, <laughs> he's good. Yeah, yeah. So if he quits smoking, Sorry! Yeah, he probably... No, I feel like smoking does, like, irreparable What's your favorite, yeah, but, like, favorite Leo movie? Have a dad body. Mm. Favorite Leo yeah. movie. Favorite Leo movie. Hold on. Favorite Leo movie. Just Leo starring or Leo in it? In it. I mean, he stars in most of his movies. He does. All right. Top ten. Amazing. He movie. stars in every movie. Yeah. Really Wolf of Wall Street was mine. Like top one. Like, because like he like he killed it. Like he, he like it. he that went crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. I cool. think that's Leonardo DiCaprio in his purest form. Yeah. <laughs> just like if you were to distill Leonardo DiCaprio, that would be. Wolf some movies are just Nicolas Cage movies, like distilled, and some movies are just yeah. Leonardo DiCaprio. Yeah. My yeah. favorite yeah. one, The Departed, by far. Departed is the party. Yeah. The party. The party. When you got the oh, rat, my like, whopper. They couldn't figure out who the rat was. You know what? What fucks me up is like I've seen The Departed and I've seen Shutter Island, and so my brain does a weird thing where it just like fuses the <laughs> movies together. That's like awesome. I don't know why. Yeah. yeah. Right. But Django's great too. Django, but he's not the star. That's one he did not star. He's, he's got, arguably one of the stars. He's yeah, I mean, he did. Yeah. He had the best. Yeah. Scene. Like yeah. scene, yeah. but he wasn't the star. He's got one of the, he's top villain though. He's like yeah. on yeah. the poster. Yeah. But he was definitely not the star. Yeah. Mm. What what is it? What's you need, you call? It's my favorite movie. No, but I forgot I, what it's called. I just have so many. Like I really love him in Gangs of New York. Aviator, he was awesome. Even though a lot of people hate Gangs of New York, I love. I know I love that movie because of DDL. But yeah, right? yeah but the, but his accent was weird. It wasn't. Uh, but it was weird like Irish a, accent. Yeah, because he was like an like, Irish man, and they came. What to he America. was in the Orphan? Are you kidding me? He was. Wait, was who? It? No, it's 
sometimes you might have just bruised it. Just, yeah, maybe Google just fucked up. I don't know. Yeah. But also, like Shutter Island and like... Yeah. Shutter Island's okay. Shutter Island, Island wasn't like a great showcase of his acting though. But it was, it was just, just a, a good movie. movie. It was a good movie. It was yeah. so enjoyable. Yeah. And then what was the other one you just mentioned it with? Wolf of Wall Street. No. Oh. The other one. He came out Inception. Yeah. Inception I didn't mention Inception though. Yeah, it wasn't you, an you mentioned outstanding performance. Shutter. But those movies were so enjoyable. Yeah. I what, mean, if we're going which, for our best performance... Which movie do you think he should have won the, the Oscar for? Because I don't think it, it, it was the right No, not at all. That film movie fucking blew. I mean, because yeah, because he only won because he did circumstantial acting. Yeah. Because it was super cold. That's yeah. why he was acting that way. Yeah. And he actually <laughs> ate the liver, guys! Yeah. 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 Um, he shouldn't have won for that. I think, if anything, maybe... God, this is taking me back. Let me look up. Let me look up something. Else. Either Wolf, Wolf of Wall Street, or yeah. Django. Yeah, I would say like I would like yeah. Well, Django's he did an amazing job in his one scene, so I don't yeah. know if you can. As a supporting him. actor, yeah. Yeah, but he did. Jennifer, cut his hand, what's her name? This one I'm saying like. <laughs> <laughs> just, We're going back to the circumstantial yeah, thing, you know, true. like yeah. It's not like you know. He was like, actually, I don't know, actually. <laughs> Maybe he was sniffing coke during the entire year. <laughs> I know it's a little too hot, right? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. one of the emperors got on my back. Yeah. Basketball <laughs> He was in the basketball bar? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He was the basketball diary. We were writing in him. <laughs> so he was just like, turn the page. <laughs> it's just like, he's been in a lot of movies. Yeah. A ton. Um, I see. really like Catch Me If You Can. Oh, that's a great movie. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. a great movie. But I'd say I like that movie more because of Tom Hanks than like, uh, yeah. Leo. Yeah. No, it's a great, it's a great skill. Yeah, it movies. has to be uh, that he's in it, Titanic. The Rob was one? the Titanic. Oh, Remember when they that fucked movie? in that you car. That yeah. Is that the one about the wait, who the children? Uh, yes. I think it was about like aliens. Children of the corn. Oh no, sorry. Titanic? Aliens? <laughs> it's it's about it's about a plane, I think. Okay. Yeah. And it's going someplace. Is it about uh, yeah. the the Titan who met Dick? <laughs> I'm gonna go with Shutter Island. Okay, alright, alright. I think a lot of people hated that movie, but I'm glad you Did guys they? enjoyed it. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Shut around. I didn't hate it, but you know. That movie I don't know. Was Wait, Lars von Trier, right? Directed. Oh, maybe. No, no that was a Scorsese movie. Uh, yeah. I think even with its twist, it's still predictable for the movie. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think that's a problem most yeah, of the time. Yeah, but I mean, you know, that's like, their yeah, problem. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. In, cl in, in closing, you didn't need everything. Um, it was delicious. It was certainly mm -hmm. delicioso. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And, um,. What was your, what was, what was your life? You liked everything? I liked everything, yeah. I liked everything. Right, yeah. Okay, well, gravy then, huh? The pork. Yeah. The pork chops. Chops. Those are great. Especially if you have it right then and there in the restaurant. Yeah. Mm. A little crispy. Yeah. A little chewy. Salty. Mm. How many, how many mukbangers do you give it? <laughs> Out of, uh, out, of, <laughs> out of 79 <laughs> McBonkers. How many McBonkers? Out of how McBonkers? many? It sounds like a McDonald's. Yeah, McBonkers is like one of the. Yeah, like, this was McBonkers! <laughs> Welcome back, fellow McBonkers! <laughs> how many McBonkers do you give it out of 28? I give it a solid 8 McBonkers. Out of 28? Out, out of 10 McBonkers. <laughs> What is, what is the that? scale is a little bit skewed. 7.5 yeah. yeah. muck bonkers. Oh, okay. Right. Two. Get the <laughs> fuck out of here! <laughs> I didn't Not say right. out of how many? Out of one. Yeah, it's. it's, it's <laughs> <laughs> out of one. Out of one. I give it 15 McBonkers out of 20. Oh, okay. Okay. So you gave it 7.5, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Great. That's how the McBongers works. Yeah, okay. it's, like, um, it's actually a parabolic like, range. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, well, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks for, for watching joining us. For first dinner. McBonkers Eating Rainbow. Eating Rainbow.